We, we live in a day where it means almost nothing to be a Christian. According to research, almost four out of every five Americans identify themselves as Christians. Four out of five. But in this group of self-proclaimed Christians, less, of, less than half of them are involved in church on a weekly basis. Less than half of them actually believe the Bible is true. The overwhelming majority of them don't have a biblical view of the world around them. So researchers went even deeper then to distinguish men and women who are born-again Christians as if there's any other kind of Christian. But these are people who say they've made a personal commitment to Jesus. They believe they'll go to heaven because they've accepted Jesus as their Savior. And according to research, almost half of Americans, so half of Americans are born-again Christians. But you look at this group of born-again Christians and researchers found that their beliefs and lifestyles are virtually indistinguishable from the world around them. Many born-again Christians believe that their works can earn them a place in heaven. Others think that Christians and Muslims worship the same God. Some believe that Jesus sinned while he was on earth. And an ever-increasing number of born-again Christians just describe themselves as marginally committed to Jesus. So people have used data like this to conclude that Christians are really not that different from the rest of the world. But I don't, I don't think that interpretation of that research is accurate. I think the one thing that's abundantly clear from those statistics is that there are a whole lot of people in our country who think that they are Christians, but they are not. There are scores of people here and around the world who culturally identify themselves as Christians and biblically are not followers of Christ.